My night started off with a bang. Um, I was in the car for maybe 10 minutes and I got my first call. And uh, the girl went out to Sydney. It was like a $50 fare. She gave me 60 something. And then later on, uh, it was a slowish night. I did manage to get some sleep. I always get some sleep, especially in the morning hours. But this time I had, um, I had a couple of lucky longer fares and the morning was real slow. I, I think I had three trips in the morning, something like that. Uh, okay, four trips in the morning. And that's between midnight and six. Four trips, yay. So I uh, still, you know, I did 260. So 260 is not completely shabby. It could have been a lot worse had those longer fares been a lot shorter. I could have had under 200. And one of the longer fares owes me about $3 because he was short. But uh, he said he'll get me next time, so I see no reason to, you know, doubt that. He calls all the time. And yeah, I think we've had a successful Sunday night. Not too busy, not too stressful. A bit of sleeping. Yeah, it was okay. I'm going to pull into the gas station now and fuel up. I already made a stop at the bank. It was a long Monday night. Long Monday night. And uh, at some parts of it, it was quite steady. I'm talking about before midnight. And after midnight was one trip an hour. I got about 250 on, which is okay considering you know you don't get rich but you get the bills paid and now I'm just coming out of the car wash and I'm bringing it in uh, they have uh, spread saline solution on the ground and that that makes for uh, it eats away at the asphalt a little bit and so you get you get some asphalt stuck to the side of your car and I just washed it and I'm going to the bank to deposit some cash and then I'm gonna go into the parkade where it's not quite so cold and detailing, I'm going to detail the interior of the car just because it wasn't done yesterday and the last time it was done was Saturday and now it's Tuesday morning. Got a chiropractor's appointment in about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to get my back adjusted and my neck stretched. way life is going right now it's just routine 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 yeah I'll be back tomorrow the time is now 531 on a Wednesday morning it happens to be st. Patrick's Day Last night was pretty slow. It took me over an hour to get my first call. And then it took something like two hours to get the one after that. I was on the road for four hours almost when I got my third call. And then I think I had three calls between 11 and 12. 
Then it was quiet again until three. And from three till now, I've been going pretty much non-stop, which is kind of weird because I have $220 on right now. And at midnight, I was just getting my lease on and the lease was 85 bucks. And the only reason I had my lease on was because I got one long fare that went quite a ways out of town and paid me $38. Now I'm gonna sort of slowly head towards a car wash where I can hose this thing down. I'm not gonna do a deep clean. First of all, it's cold out there. It's one degree centigrade. And uh, that's not the kind of weather or temperature I wanna be standing outside in for very long. I wanna just hose the car down, wash the mats, and get back in the warmth. That's what I want to do. Yeah. <sighs> oh, actually, I have 233 on because I forgot to count the stack of tunies that one girl gave me. So, three, 333 or so is what I got on. So I'm not, not complaining. Yeah, I gotta count the change too. <sighs> but I'm tired. You know, you get into, you get into a certain mode for the, for the evening and it's slow so you're dozing off a few times watching stuff on your phone, falling asleep, and then suddenly you're getting busy. It's like, no, no, slow it down. I don't want to work hard now. I've been out here all night, and finally, in the, in the last couple hours, you get busy for me. No, I don't like working that way. trouble from anyone. I did have a couple of no loads, which was, no, it just was. I'm glad the night's almost over. I'm, yeah. Don't know if I'm going to take a walk this morning. <sighs> I'm awful tired. Maybe I should give up on the walk. Well, the walk doesn't take that long. It's like 40 minutes. 45 minutes. And then after that, I can do whatever I want. Two more nights to go this week. Well, it is now 5.51 a.m. 5.51 in the morning of the 18th of March, which means that uh, it was just St. Patrick's Day. I did about 170 for the entire night of St. Patrick's. They took all the celebration out of St. Patrick's by shutting restaurants, pubs, and bars at 8 o'clock rather than at 10 like they have been doing for the last few months the COVID thing so yeah close everything even two hours earlier including liquor stores 
had one customer who wanted to go to the liquor store to pick something up. Liquor store was closed. Just for that one day. Yeah, they took all the celebration out of it and made it really a non-event. For me, I did 170 for the whole night. 170. Pretty sad. No such thing as St. Patrick's Day anymore. It's not like St. Patrick's Day ever was a big deal in, in this town in Victoria, but it's become even less. So, I basically wasted my time out here tonight. I'm gonna go to the car wash and wash the car. I don't think it got dirty. And yes, I did sleep much of the morning. So when I get home, I will not be able to sleep. Yay, hooray. One more night to go this week. That is the night of the 18th of March. The time is now 5.40 a.m. And I've got $320 on, which is interesting because this was not St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day was the day before that. And the St. Patrick's Day for the whole night, I had 170 so double that would be 340 and I've almost got double tonight du tonight I have almost double what I had last night if I make it another 20 bucks I would have double go figure I think I mentioned that already that they closed everything at uh, eight o'clock at night on St. Patrick's Day so that people wouldn't go out and party. And people wouldn't drink and people wouldn't go to restaurants and stuff. I don't know. These COVID restrictions are just bullshit. And I'm not supposed to go here. It says bicycles only, but I'm going this way. This blocking of streets really sucks. Block streets make it so you can't go this way. You can't go any way you want. They're over controlling everything. Yeah, I'm tired. I've had enough. I just want to go home and it's starting to rain. I guess the week worked out okay. I slept a bit because the night was busy until about one o'clock and then I had a two hour break. Then I had a trip after that with the warning to check for cash. So I didn't check for cash. The guy looked kind of sketchy and he acted kind of strange, but he paid me more than double the fare. The fare was $7 and he gave me 15 And immediately I was sent on another trip and this was a long one going out of town. So it was worth staying out. I had, I think, three or four trips since then. And now I am done, pretty much unless I get another trip in the next 10 minutes. I just want to fuel up and 
park it. I'm not gonna clean or wash anything. Because the guy who drives after me doesn't doesn't clean the car for me, but then the owner does. So since he doesn't clean the car for the what? No, I don't think I want to go all the way down there. I don't have time. Decline. Busy and log out. That's it. I'm not going down there. They want me to go to this part of town called James Bay. And James Bay has a lot of... Uh, there are lots of traffic lights between where I am and where James Bay is. And I don't like waiting for traffic lights to change. So I don't want to go down there. Send somebody else. I'm done. My night is over. Sending me from Zone 32 into James Bay. That's too far. If I was in James Bay already, I would take the call. But I'm not. Yeah, there isn't much more to say right now, except for, hope yours is better than mine. <laughs>